round two of the World Baseball Classic begins from the Tokyo Dome, and it's upstart Israel taking on international heavyweight Team Cuba. Bottom one, Israel bits for the first run of the game. Nate Fryman floops one to center field off Noer V. Sentenza, but on comes Roel Santos to make the nice sliding grab to save a run and end the frame. Top two now, it's the heavy hitter for Cuba, Alfredo Despagne, taking Jason Marquis deep for a long solo home run. Despagne's third long ball of the classic, and it's one nothing, Team Cuba. Bottom four now, Israel has one on with two down for Ryan Lavarnway, and Lavarnway will smack one down the left field line for an RBI double. Ike Davis comes chugging home, and Israel has tied this game up at one apiece. Back to Jason Marquis, pitching so well in the World Baseball Classic thus far. In the sixth inning, he'll pick up a strikeout of Frederick Cepeda. Marquis goes five and two-thirds. He's allowed just one earned run over his three outings in the World Baseball Classic thus far. Bottom six, Israel will break the tie as Zach Borenstein comes through with an RBI single into right field off Yoenis Yera. Ty Kelly comes at the score, and it's 2-1, to one, Team Israel, part of a two-run frame for them. In the bottom of the eighth with the score 3-1 to one, Israel, there are men at the corners with nobody out, and Israel will play some small ball as Blake Galen lays down the perfect punt against Levon Moniello. Another run scores, and Israel adds some insurance. It's 4-1. to one. Top nine, Israel is one out away from victory. Josh Zaid is on the mound, and he will get the grounder off the bat of Yosvani Alarcon to end the ball game. Israel knocks off Team Cuba by a final of 4-1, to one, and Israel improves to 4-0 in the 2017 World Baseball Classic. Team Israel's bullpen provides three and one-third scoreless innings of relief, with Zach Thornton getting the win and Josh Zaid picking up the save. Team Israel will next play on Monday against the Netherlands, while Team Cuba will get ready for another look at Team Japan on Tuesday.